Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about a technique that you can use right now in order to make quite a lot of gold in patch 10.2. This is something that unfortunately will probably not be super interesting even in a few days from now because everyone is going to start doing it. So if you want to make some gold with this technique, I would recommend you to do it right now. So in order to do this technique, you will need to have inscription with the Dragon Isles and you will simply need to reach 35 with inscription. So here it's pretty simple. You can easily just get a lot of points by doing the different Dragon Isles smiling. And then personally, I just started to craft some of the different Fated Fortune cards. And like that, you should be able to reach 35 very easily. After that, you just want to go in Valdraken in the PvP HQ and here you want to talk to Emberath and as you can see when you have some of the different awakened IRs with you you will be able to buy these different techniques in order to craft the new PvP trinkets. So again you don't need to be level 70 in order to do that even on a level 60 61 you will be able to do it. All you need is to get 35 in inscription and then also to have some of these different awakened iron that you can currently buy at the auction house. So then you will be able to start crafting these different trinkets. Here, you really want to make sure to craft them with the highest quality, which is 412. So in order to get to this highest quality, there are a couple of things you can do. The first thing is to buy all the different professional tools and equipments in order to get a lot of skills and inspiration and multicraft. So here at the beginning, I would recommend you to get one with inspiration and also maybe to use the buff and the ancient for inspiration. Then next to that, what you can do is simply craft all the different things that you can craft with inscription in order to get the first points and the knowledge points and also the mentals. And here, what you want to do is then go inside your specialization and you want to target rune mastery in order to get some skill points. And then you want to either unlock inspiration if you don't have enough inspiration and you're not at the max rank and then also resourcefulness in order to get back some of the different materials needed in order to craft these different trinkets. Also, of course, if you're using some of the best quality materials, you will also have a better chance at getting the 412 high level trinkets. So then it's really up to you to see how you want to do, but target first inspiration and also resourcefulness and like that, hopefully you will be able to grab them for the cheapest cost. Of course, as I always say, what you also want to do if you really want to make a lot of gold with these different trinkets is to try and transfer some of them on over realms, especially low pop realms and medium pop realms where there are not too many people who are already doing it. And you want to make sure to also try to sell them there because like that you will be able to not only make gold on one realm but on all these other realms so again this is something you will be able to do for free if you have maybe another account or you can do it with a friend to transfer all these different items and this is in my opinion the best way to really make the most profit possible with these different trinkets so of course keep in mind that during the first few hours and days of this new patch probably the value is going to drop a lot so First thing, you really want to make sure to not craft and sell them at a loss. So always make sure that the price of the materials is cheaper than the profit you can make on the auction house. Also, probably after just a few weeks, people will kind of forget and get tired of crafting and selling these different trinkets. And then after that, you can really start crafting them and selling them again, especially on your realm. So this is definitely something that will be good throughout patch 10.2. But again, right now, there are possibilities for high profit, but they're going to decrease a lot very, very soon. Of course, what I would also strongly recommend you to do right now is to simply do all the different PvP activities that you can in order to get your hands on some of these different Victorious Contenders strong boxes, because inside you will have a chance at getting some of these new BOE plants and recipes and probably for the first few days, especially if you manage to get, for instance, the different ones for jewel crafting, you will be able to sell them for hundreds of thousands of gold. And of course, you can also decide to simply learn these different plants and recipes and craft these items and again, sell them on multiple rims. So again, if you're into PvP and you want to have a chance at making some gold 
right now is the best moment. Just join some of these different random beaches and everything. And hopefully you will be able to get some of these different BOE plans and recipes. Also, if you have a lot of owner points with you, what you can do is simply go here, talk to the owner quartermaster, and you want to buy, as you can see, some of these different contenders, strong boxes directly for 5,000 owner points. So these are really going to be right now, I think, some really, really good ways to make some gold. Keep in mind, again, the value also on these different plants and recipes is probably going to drop a little bit in a few days or maybe a few weeks from now. But at least for the next few days, you will be able to sell them for hundreds of thousands of gold if you manage to get them early enough. And of course, finally, uh, the last thing I want to mention is the fact that you can always try to flip some of these different plants and recipes. So for instance, here on the Undermine Exchange, you can go type Verdant right now. As you can see, we don't have the information yet because these items are brand new. But as soon as the information is available, just go through all these different plants and recipes, see if maybe on some realms, there are some that are extremely cheap. And what you can do is buy them and resell them for a better price on these realms or also transfer them and sell them on another realm. And like that, you will probably be able to make a lot of gold. But keep in mind, again, a lot of people are going to be doing that. And so it's going to be very competitive. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make a lot of gold with all these new PvP items and plants and recipes. I will be back very soon with more guides and videos about patch 10.2. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great launch of the patch. Bye.